Three ways to style your swimwear as tops. Start with a basic bandeau top, wear it with denim shorts and a denim jacket for a casual look. Next, start with a minimal triangle top and add an oversized blazer for an edgy, cool vibe. Last but not least, start with a white one piece and pair it with white jeans for an effortlessly chic outfit. Hi kids, it's me, your rich mom. Today I'm going to share with you guys my secrets on how to look rich in your sweats or your loungewear. First step, have a monochrome base, so a matching pantsuit, top to bottom, no prints. And make sure that your pants are tapered at the bottoms, non-tapered pants are sloppy. And third, sorry to break it to you kids, but no sagging. Pull the sweatpants up and tuck your shirt right in. Four, of course, gold, bold jewelry. Repeat after me, gold, bold jewelry. Next up, a bold red lip. Uh, not on your teeth. Ooh. Next, throw a sweater over your shoulder. It'll add a nice preppy touch. Last but not least, no socks here, please. Go for slippers instead, like these faux fur ones. Here's how I do the watercolor tie-dye technique. Start by getting your garment wet with hot water, then sprinkle on some bleach or other tie-dye color that you want, and this helps make it a softer, more watercolor type finish, and it looks really cute. How to style your dress as a top. Gather the excess fabric in the front and make a knot for a cropped look. Take the bottom hem of the dress and tuck it under your bra for a flowy tank look. Twist the excess fabric to the side until knot forms for another easy crop style. Five ways to dress younger. I'm not sure why, but bringing out the front pieces of your hair makes you look younger. Use a shoelace as a belt. You need a pair of Vans and Air Force Ones. Wear a hoodie under everything and big t-shirts are a must. Don't forget your high-waisted distress jeans. Pair it with a crop top and an oversized shirt or flannel. Don't forget to wear a crop top, vintage Levi's cutoffs in the summer. Tuck in all your t-shirts under your bra to make a crop top effect. Wear every jacket off the shoulder. And don't forget to watch How to Dress Older on my page. How to instantly look taller and slimmer. Tuck in your shirt, go for darker denim, monochrome, pointed toe shoes, crop top and high waist jeans, crop jacket, size down your bag, and voila! In this video, I'm going to show you four easy ways to look classy. First, try avoiding print and go for solids instead. Next, choose softer colors that are more appealing to the eye. Then go for timeless pieces like this blazer over seasonal ones. Lastly, always go for a simple medium square shaped bag and you're good to go. How to style leggings like Madison Beer. Start with your favorite pair of black leggings. Add a blue sweatshirt. Make sure to crop it. Put on long socks with white sneakers, grab a cute handbag, sunnies, and you're done. Hi guys, today I'm sharing how I layer my necklaces. I always start with the shortest necklace first, and then I actually go in for the longest one. The middle necklace is the toughest, but it's the most adjustable. And voila! In this video, I'm going to show you three easy ways to look slimmer. First, try wearing all black. It's the most flattering color on any body type and will help mask anything unwanted. Next, try adding a belt to any of your outfits because it'll help accentuate the smallest part of your body. Lastly, opt for v-necks because showing more skin on top will give the illusion of a longer, slimmer neckline, therefore giving you length.
Hey y'all, I'm gonna show you how to make the most perfect cutoff shorts for the summertime. This is a super easy technique. Keep watching if you wanna know how. I got my jeans from Walmart from the men's section, $10.44, and they're 100% cotton, which is what you need for the fraying. You're gonna need some scissors, a box cutter, something to cut with, something to mark your jeans with, and something to measure with. I measured two and a half inches down from the inseam and I just marked with some soap. You can go longer if you want. And then 11 inches down from the waistband, I'm marking there too. You can go longer if you want right here too. I like my shorts to come up at an angle, so I'm gonna draw a straight line there, on, do it on both sides and the back, then I'm gonna cut across the line. I pulled out my pocket, so I didn't cut off my pocket though. Now I'm drawing where I wanna have my holes in distressing, but don't draw too close to the crotch because, well, you know. Um, so this is part one and I'll have part two up. Here's how I did my galaxy tie-dye. For my NASA sweatshirt, I wanted an outer spaced galaxy kind of vibe, so I tied it up into bald sections and then squeezed the dye on, made sure I got it saturated really thoroughly because that's the look I wanted. And after letting it set, squeeze out all of the dye, make sure you get it out before you throw it in the washing machine. And this is how it turned out. I think it looks super cute. And I linked this exact sweatshirt, the dye I used, and more detailed steps in my profile. 